welcome back for this week's episode of The Weekend Preview. I'm Holly, and this is Karen. This week we're covering January 27th, 28th, and 29th. We release a new episode each Thursday to help keep you in touch with what's happening right here in your nature coast. Don't miss any of our future episodes. Make sure you like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hello, this is David Ginger, and I have your weekend weather for you here, sponsored by Ameriprise Financial. Well, this weekend, we get a little taste of what our friends have up north. Our highs are going to be in the low to mid-60s all three days, and our lows are going to be in the low to mid-40s. We're going to be partly cloudy on Friday, but that sun's going to come out on Saturday, so if you're going to be out there golfing, enjoy yourself, because on Sunday, we're going to be enjoying some of that liquid sunshine. Y'all have a great weekend out there, and hit them straight. Brooksville and February 18th in West Palm Beach. Every runner receives a free toga plus a gold finisher's medal and the ultimate toga after party at the Greek Festival. Opa! Register now and get your team together for special awards and great discounts. Also visit us online at togarunusa.com. Opa! It is a jam-packed weekend this weekend and we've selected a variety of events for you. On Friday, you can get your jam in up at the Rock Crusher Canyon for their Bluegrass Old Time Music Festival and Car Show. This is a two-day event that'll kick off on Friday. The gates will open at 5.30 and there's a band competition beginning at 7. The gates will reopen at Saturday at 10 a.m. with music and the car show kicking off at 11.30. There will be beer, wine, and other refreshments available for you that day in addition to the craft and food vendors that are going to be on site. Children 10 and under are free to attend the event and tickets will be sold at the gate. You are encouraged to bring your own chair and blankets for the concert, but coolers and pets are not going to be allowed into the concert area. For all you enthusiasts, collectors, and doomsday preppers, we have the event for you. Hernando Sportsman's Club is bringing its next knife and gun show. The show will have firearms, knives, as well as accessories there for sale. Tickets are $6. If you're under 16, you must be accompanied by an adult, but you will get in for free. Also, they'll have food and refreshments there for you as well. This is off of US 19, and don't forget, they have lots of programs as well as workshops there for you. Make sure you stay there and check them out. Interacting, spending time with, and bonding with your children is crucial in the development of their social skills. Well, maybe you've been thinking about taking some time and ditching the technology to spend with your toddler. Like Karen was saying, it's probably time to put up that iPad, put the video games away, and get that one-on-one -on -one time that you've been dying to spend for with your child. So, we have the perfect event coming up for you guys this weekend. That's right. Saturday at 10.30, you can head to the Lando Lakes Recreation Complex, where Chef It Up To You is bringing you Mommy, Daddy, and Me cooking classes. Oh, yes, I can't wait. They're actually teaching you guys and being able to feed you and sample apple pie muffins, they have yogurt parfaits, as well as cupcake decorating for you and the little ones. What better way to interact and bond with your little one than over some sweet treats? Now, I will tell you Chef It Up To Go does all of their demonstrations and interactive cooking classes with peanut and nut oil-free products, so you don't have to worry about that. There is limited seating available. It's optimal for children ages two to six, so make sure you reserve your seats online. For any additional information about this event or any of our other events we have, go to our Facebook page and click on that events tab. And make sure you stick around because our feature event is coming up after this. Hey, this is Steven Paletta with Bonefish Grill. We partner with local charities and nonprofit organizations and local events to give back to the community. Here at Bonefish Grill and Cortez Commons, we open every day at 11 a.m. and step on Sundays at 10 a.m. for brunch. Next up is a dog's purpose, rated right PG. Sometimes he just needed a little nudge. Oh, whoa! Sorry, that was the dog, that wasn't me. Okay, well maybe you should teach your dog some manners. We spent every day together. Were they fighting over food? No, nothing in there. In this family comedy, a dog looks to discover his true purpose over several owners and several lifetimes. Ah! 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 
If I can get you licking and loving, I have my purpose. Ethan, why do you always have this dog with you? It's like a girlfriend replacement or something? <laughs> the dog's laughing at you. Dogs don't laugh. <laughs> That's funny. Featured event this week, we're having you head to downtown Date City for their annual Kumquat Festival. This is East Pasco's biggest and most distinctive event of the entire year. You are not gonna wanna miss this. Right, there's gonna be over 40,000 people gonna be there coming from all over to have these amazing kumquats. That's right, it's a one day event that starts from nine to five. And if you're not sure what a kumquat is, you'll know before you leave. <laughs> they have all kinds of kumquat samplings available, right Holly? Right Karen, talk about the cookies, the pies, the smoothies, as well as marmalades and salsa. Come on, you gotta try them. That's <laughs> right, well, and if you're not quite sure about trying that kumquat, they are gonna have other food vendors available, including some food trucks and local restaurants. Like we said, there's 425 vendors, so there's lots of arts and crafts and food and all kinds of things for you to enjoy. Exactly, and for the little ones there, they will be having a kids corral as well as a quilt challenge that you gotta check out before you leave. Yeah, and you can find out the latest in your health and wellness corner and there's gonna be a farmer's market that's there so you can pick up some fresh produce. Again, this is the biggest event of the year there in East Pasco. You don't wanna miss it. Come on out to the Kumquat Festival and see what the Kumquats are all about. And thank you guys so much for watching this week's episode of The Weekend Preview. If you have an event you would like considered for an upcoming episode, you can email us at media at naturecoast.tv and we'll see you next, next week. week.